Welcome again to another one of my painting videos or sessions, sorry. Well, oh, and video, same thing. Um, instead of doing the dragon paint or the Rathian painting like I was talking about, I'm going to do a little feather painting, kind of like a tutorial, because I did get the crackle effect paint, but it, uh, I've tested it out multiple times uh, with varying variables like thickness and what have you. Uh, thickness, thickness of the effect paint, thickness of the base color paint, um, temperature, time, everything that I could possibly have. And it's just too re unreliable to use practically. So I'll just be sticking with another type of thing. It will be like a stencil, but I'm not gonna be making it myself. I'll just get it somewhere, you'll find out what, um, to make dragon scales. I'll tell you this effect of, by the way, it's uh, just dragon scales in the background because that's what the effect I was going for with the crackle effect anyways. Uh, but it was so unreliable that I figured, well, I'm just going to get this thing that's going to allow me to make these scales much more reliably and not screw it up. I have to wait so many hours to get to that point and so on. So now I'm just going to do a little how to, if you will, how to do like alignment and clouds because I will be using clouds. I have this right here to make those. I also have comets, stars, not big ones, just small little ones um, to have in there as well. Uh, let me just get my gloves, my mask, and then I'll get to the quick synopsis before I get going. Um, I plan to talk a bit louder as my other video is on a, quick, a bit more distant. Hopefully I'm not like that at the moment. So I don't think my fan's doing that. I think I'm just a bit more quiet, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, get my gloves on. Uh, I'll get my mask, but I'll start the synopsis. So you see there are three, paint, uh, three planets with lids. I haven't made the stencil, or I haven't made the paint over them yet to make the outline. Because I want to show you how you get this alignment. You kind of just eyeball it. You don't have to make it perfectly. Um, just enough that it looks perfect on both sides. So you just look at the middle. And like instantly you could already tell this is bigger. So just going off of that, you'll be imitating what people seeing your art will feel. If they feel that this is bigger than that, then that's the case and this is uh, an alignment. If they do not feel that way, like this, this is a bit smaller, so right there. Then it's uniform um, with the paper as well. So I'm just gonna move these over here. Same thing with the distance from each planet, you want it to be uniform as well to get this alignment, the effect, and just, there we go, okay. Uh, one thing you can use as a straight edge, let me just get one out right now. Paint divider, I don't know what this is called, or paint scraper, I don't know. But something like this, I believe this is just a big heavy duty paint scraper, but just paint divider is what I call it, because that's what it does. So you have it right smack dab in the middle. Kinda see if there's dots, like there are here in the middle, well not here, but if there's dots in the middle of your lids, use that to connect the dots and then correct them. But you also don't want to have this off because it will still be aligned, because but it won't be aligned with the paper you need it to be parallel so I just eyeball it that's what I do I don't really use this I won't be making a line straight down so it won't be that crazy I'll just be using clouds around it oh, nothing big let me just Get this lid on. 
spray down. As you can see, blue themed. Been using too much of the other colors, especially with the Rattan Candy kind of coming up. I need to make sure that my paints uh, for that is well supplied and stocked. Uh, that being greens and purples and pinks as well. I want that to be stocked and not run out. I'm gonna put the lids on the rest of these. Okay. Now, yeah, like you see, it's pretty um pretty aligned. So it's. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think you'd ever get that, but it's it's aligned. So that's pretty all that matters. Okay. And let's get this done. There you go. Okay. Got that done.
There we go. Focus. Okay, I'm gonna take the mask off so I can talk now. Uh, to tell y'all and, and make an after tutorial. So, what I'd usually do, uh, you don't have to do it, but what I do now is I put a good coat on the paint, or on on the canvas, paper, cardstock, whatever you're using. A good coat, of the darkest color you have, not black, but the darkest non-black color that you have variable to you coat all of it navy blue is really good like i've said before because it has darker than lighter depending on how thick it is that's on most uh, paints but it's a bit more prevalent here and uh, a bit more uh, beautiful if you would call it that and you're gonna go lighter the more in the center you go draw attention to the planets. Nonza here ain't the best, but still working for the time. Coat, uh, that paint, it doesn't have to be this. It could be just be this equivalent to green, purple, reds, or what have you, whatever you have. Next up. And try not to escalate too hard on this. It's really easy to do if you haven't seen other paints. But try not to do that. Like, don't try to skip a color. Even if it seems small, it does matter. Like, this paint. That paint versus this paint, the navy, the navy blue one. Um, I was just saying the number, I have been the name of them. Navy blue was the darker one, sail blue was the lighter one. Sail blue and navy blue on canvas is pretty similar, but they still have some grades apart from them. And I don't have any in between, so that's the best I have. And I don't skip them, even though they look pretty the same. 
compared to the other levels, like this. Perhaps I'm skipping a level with Ocean Mist, but I don't have any levels in between this and the Maui Blue, which was before this. Okay, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna spray this pretty well. The Maui Blue again. Let's blend it all in. This is extra wet over there. For some reason or another. Drink that, but I had to make an example, I guess. Just tell you not to do. Don't don't touch this. So I'll probably cover that up. Um, next thing. I mean, actually, I'll return that to learn experience. Uh, don't paint too hard, as the paint under, um, like the Maori blue, it came up. So. You know what you did wrong just by that factor alone. So don't try to heavily uh, apply paint if you're going to have another coat on top of it. And as that's exactly what you're looking for, in which case it suits you. Okay. Now we get to work on the clouds. Okay. Now I'm gonna go away from the clouds. So the bridges are gonna be facing away. Kind of like this. Let get this hair out of the way. She wants that. Look at this. Cap is really deteriorating. There we go. Okay, much better. Same thing over here. The other side. Now we're gonna go to another layer. This being Maui Blue. Just above this one. You can overlap it if you want. Have the clouds blend in with one another. This will be the most, I guess, expressive. You'll see it a bit more than the other, as not only does it overlap them, but it overwhelms them in brightness as well. Same over here. The reason why I'm overlapping it is to make a nebula effect to have multiple layers of escalating colors that brings depth and variation, maybe variety in it, where a lot of nebulas have in common. Very very vibrant. Catches your attention now. That's what you would want to replicate here. 
what I plan to do. Make them as realistic as possible. Of course, you can't have them sort of realistic if you train for quite some time and different types of tools at your disposal. But if you do, I'd like to see what you come up with. Now, we're gonna go one more time, just a little bit of de-escalating the colors. So before this was Mali Blue, so we're gonna do that again. But have this a bit, It's fading. Have this further away. I mean the can. Have the can a bit further away. But almost just like lines. You don't have to have hard creases. Just have it be there. Blend this in. If you have to, just go over. A little bit just like that. Next, sail blue. It's a bit heavy, so I'm probably going to go over it with Maui Blue, just like I did with the Ocean Mist. A little bit of layers, like that. The coast of those planets. Okay, there we go. Okay. Have it a bit over. Have Maui Blue cover. And blend the cell. Just like that. There we go. Now the cell blue is a bit exceeding on the right side, so we're going to compensate here. There. Okay. And again, with the Maui blue. And with navel blue, just go in the middle. Just a little bit, bring a bit more darkness. And if you want to, and this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to sharply de-escalate here. Um, what that means is I'm going to bring non-cloud uh, Maui blue behind the cell blue right here and following that is some ocean mist Too far away just like that still enough that you can notice it like so going up and blend it or we'll have it on the creases like that, a bit more, yeah, so after that, you blend it in with Maui Blue or your equivalent, this could all be equipped as just the equivalent that you have at your disposal, that would work just fine. I'm actually going to do that line, but it won't be that pretty, not at all. Do that. No. Just a little line of white. Just like that. Just so it's noticeable. Maybe a little bit more. Be I'm just gonna go one more time with Maui Blue. There we go. Okay. I think it's fine. 
like the colors to it. I blew on the sides. Okay, I'm gonna make it ocean mist. Sorry, I just had to pop my back. Okay, looks all well and good. Now I'm gonna add some comments here. I'm trying to make sure the paint you're working with here in the chamber is not leaking out. Or if that does, you are in a world of trouble. Because here it wants to leave, but I'm not letting it. Because if it gets out, I'm going to have to clean it. Uh, not just can but uh, go over it on the canvas. And you don't want that to mess up your work. Uh, I'll just keep, leave it like that. I won't make a head to it. Okay. Looks all right. Now I'm going to have some white stars. Some people use this. Uh, it's my first time using it. I think it's terrible. Not to be mean to those people, I just, stars are way too big. Using your finger, I think, is just much better. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. It just, okay. I'm not going to say it ruined it because I always say that. But I, I don't like it. I'm going to take this off slowly. Okay. This you here. Um, thank you. Probably already seen. Too wet on the outsides. Okay. So it's seeping in to the dryer bits. Not to mention the rim, I didn't really paint in. But other than that, it's fine. It's okay. I'm gonna wait a bit longer to put the gloss on. But um, in the meantime, I'll say some words about it. It looks, um, it looks all right. It's my product on it, it looks all right. Uh, there could be some, I mean, my, my green one, my green the line paintings, or I don't know what I called it. But I did something similar to this, but they weren't really aligned. I think that went much better. Even my green this line paintings, no, I think this might be a little bit better because the comments and everything. Uh, the gloss might be able to bring everything out concerning this, like it did with the green, uh, the green one. I still don't know the name of it. Or I think it was called Galaxy of Green. I think that's what it was called. So that one looks really good. And you should totally watch the video. And if you like it, subscribe. You no, know, just, just, uh, just a little thing you can do. Helps me, helps other people who might want to see this channel. Just help them move all around. But at the end of the day, it is all up to you. It's kind of bringing it on. Okay. 
Yes. Signature way too big, but on. Yeah, looks all right. Not good, not bad. I mean, if it, if it fills what it was made for, filler, filler painting. Not meant to be taken seriously. Next painting should, if it goes bad, I'll be very angry with myself. If it doesn't, I'll be very proud of myself. But um, I have high hopes. Because the main reason it sucked, or not really sucked, it was just a bit iffy last time, was there was a bit too much going on in the exterior. The interior, I think, was fine. But the exterior, not, not so much. It, it was too much on top of the interior, which already had a whole slew of what could already be a painting with the interior, which also could just be a painting by itself. So it's just doubling down too much. That video also got my first dislike, so I think it's a sign that I have to change it. I was gonna do it anyway, but call it a little bit of motivation. Right now I'm just putting with my caps. I, I cleaned them today, or yesterday. I started cleaning them yesterday or two days ago. Uh, and you use um, like, uh, mineral spirits. I use mineral spirits because I also use nail polish to get them off of uh, the paints. In the interior, you could just, I don't know, you could disassemble it. I don't do that because I don't have the tools to do so. But I'm guessing just a pin needle, a sewing needle could do it. And what's funny about disassemble is you can take apart. Uh, okay. it, this kind of shows it. Where the blue is, or where the black should be, in the middle, where that hole is, you could put a hole in it and then lift it out, unhinge it from where it's supposed to be. And then you could clean through it so it doesn't clog. Or it doesn't clog anymore. For me, I, I, I can't really do that. All I, I can do is soak it in nurture for a day, overnight, with a long period of time, and then wash it off, and then scratch off any of the exterior paint, and then blow um, with compressed gas on the inside of any of there. It might just compress the paint even more at the nozzle, which I'm pretty sure is what, hap is what it says is happening, but mm, don't happen. Hasn't seemed to gotten any worse, but I'll probably just get new paint soon. And with it, new nozzles just in case, just backup nozzles. Can't go too wrong with those. Don't know what your, no your nozzles might go through, so I'll always try to clean them. I want to clean them every week, just to make sure they don't, they don't clog, so I could use the ones that are spent, or the, the nozzles that belonged to the spent cans, I could use repeatedly and not have to throw away because they're clogged like I've been doing. So hopefully I can do that successfully. And I'll be able to nice sick face, have to get new cans every time and new nozzles. So yeah. Right, let me just look at it one more time. Some dots here, I don't know how that happened. Oh, another thing. Uh, if you look closely, uh, I'm hoping it can pick it up. I don't think it's that low quality. But there's these little dots, like rashes, the side in here. And that's, I'm pretty sure, that, I mean, you can kind of see it over here, but you're gonna have to have eagle vision for that. Um, but they're mainly up here, down. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's because it was way too wet and so some parts of the paint is rising up in little bubbles so not good happened in another one of my paintings didn't know what it was but I'm pretty sure I know now uh, so try to keep your paintings dry even if you're in 100 degree weather which I am in right now so you can it speeds up the drying process sure but it can only speed it up for so long and so quickly. So, the rest of it's in your court. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching this little color uh, um, tutorial video. Hopefully I've helped. Um, I've tried to, not to say the best I've could, but I, I, I did try to teach y'all how to do something like this. Hopefully I was direct in my teachings. I don't know. Uh, I'd like to know what you think about it. Comments, likes, subscribes, I don't know. Um, numbers are low at the moment, so I don't know if it's related to this video. And I don't know if it, it means what it means. Um, so, yeah, pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching again. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed the process as much as I have. Hopefully I have taught you. And enjoy the product as much as I have. Um, anything else? No, pretty much it. I hope to see you on my next painting, which I have good hope, high, high, very high hopes for. And that will turn out very well. But I can only know until that day comes, which that day is tomorrow, as of the time of recording this. It should still be tomorrow if you're watching this day come out. It comes out, which will be tomorrow. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next painting session. And until then, I hope you have had a good day or night, doesn't matter, and continue to have a good day or night. And until that painting, I will see you then. Bye-bye.